Hi! Today I want to show you this book called Alphabet City by Stephen T. Johnson. He asks you to look around your neighborhood and see what kinds of things look like letters of the alphabet. So I was looking at my book stand here and noticing that these kind of look like G's to me. One looks like a backwards G. And then the back of my book stand, what letter does that look like? Looks like an A to me. I wonder what you can find around your house or your neighborhood that look like letters of the alphabet. Let's see what the book shows us. That one's like the cover, letter A. And the next one, letter B. Can you see a letter B here and a letter C on this page? There's letter D and E. I think these are in alphabetical order. What do you think will be next? What's after E? There's the letter F. Can you find the F? And there's the one that kind of looks like a G. Next must be H. I. I wish my book stand would be would work. Let's see. Nope. What comes after I? J, K. L, M. N. What's after N? O. O and P. Oh, those should not be too hard to find. I bet if you look around your house, you can find things that look like those letters. Q. R. Sometimes they're a little harder to find. Here, I think they're looking at the crack in the sidewalk. You can find things, especially if you use your imagination. You can find all kinds of things. There's my favorite. There's S for Susan. And this one is letter T, but it's the empty space between the buildings. That's really using your creativity to find things. There's letter U, V, what's next? <gasps> wow, it takes up two pages. Letter W. Here's another one you'll probably be able to find some places in your house. X. Y. Oh, what do you think the next one's gonna be? The last letter of the alphabet. Z. Z. Now you take a look around and see what kinds of things you can find. 